How's it going everybody? My name's Eric. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to transfer everything from your Android phone to your other Android phone. Happy New Year, everybody. And if you're anything like me, you're sick of using a cracked screen phone. Particularly in this case, it's a Google Pixel 3 XL to another Google Pixel 3 XL. This will work for other pixel to pixel transfers, and I think it will work for other Android to Android transfers as well. We're going to be using a USB-C to USB-C cord. However, I think you can transfer it via wireless as well. I'm going to walk you guys through step-by-step -step transferring all my stuff from this phone to this phone, and it's really, really easy. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, please give the video a thumbs up. If you aren't already subscribed to the channel, consider subscribing and let's get into the tutorial. So this is my current device over here on the left with cracks in every single corner of the screen and I am way overdue for an upgrade. Here's my new phone over here. It's a Google Pixel 3 XL with 128 gigabytes of storage and a non-cracked screen. We're gonna turn our new phone on by holding the side power button and then it pops up, welcome to my Pixel. From here, I'm just going to hit get started connect to a mobile network. If you have a SIM card, insert it now. So you're gonna take your old phone and then you're gonna take a pin or a small paper clip, turn your phone over. This is specific to the Pixel 3 XL. Sometimes the SIM cards will be on the side. Sometimes they will be on the top. Sometimes they'll be on the other side. If it's an older Samsung or another Android phone with a back, it comes off with the battery, sometimes behind the back, sometimes it's under the battery. However, on this Pixel 3 XL, it is right here on the bottom. You see that little circle? We're going to stick our pin in and press it down. It ejects a little bit and you're just going to grab it with your nail and pull it out the rest of the way. And that is the SIM card tray and the SIM card. The SIM card can come out just like that. We're going to put the tray back into our old phone. And now you're gonna take the pin on the new phone, do the same thing, eject the tray. The SIM card can only orient one way. You see that little flat part at the top and you're gonna slide it in like that. Now we're going to put that into the bottom of our phone and it recognized a mobile network. Now it's asking to connect to Wi-Fi. We're going to connect to our 5G band and type in our password. Then we're going to hit connect so I'm going to turn the camera off, let this load for a little bit, and then pick up where we left off. A few moments later. So it just popped to this new screen after 30 seconds or so. Copy apps and data. And we do want to copy apps and data because we want to make an exact copy of our old phone. So we don't have to start from brand new. We have a lot of data. So we're just going to hit next. And it says you need your old Android or iPhone device. Turn it on and keep it unlocked. So we're going to turn this on, make sure that we unlock it, and then hit next. So find your device's old USB cable. I have this USB-C to USB-C cable. That's what we're going to use. However, if you didn't have a cable or you just wanted to do it through the internet, you could hit no cable and hit okay. Through this screen, you can do it wirelessly, which is slower than using the cable. So we're just going to go back and use the cable. We're gonna hit next, insert your cable into your old device. So we're gonna plug that in there hit next and then we're going to plug it into here and it should recognize that the cable is plugged in there it goes I actually had to jiggle it a little bit if yours doesn't uh, connect make sure to jiggle it a little bit I think the cable is actually bad so I'm gonna not touch these cables at all anymore we're gonna hit copy you can use your fingerprint or type in your pin to copy it. It's gonna use pin. For some reason, this cable is being finicky and anytime I move the phones, the ports disconnect. So I'm just going to allow this to transfer and it says copying your account. So I'm gonna turn the camera off, let this do its thing and see you guys when this is done. A few moments later. So now it says checking info, continue setup on your Pixel XL, sign in with your Google account. So the same Google account that you were signed in on your old phone, you're gonna wanna sign in on your new phone. Or if you don't have a Google account, you can just hit skip. I had to type in my password. Now it's asking for two-step verification. Yes, it's me. Would you like to add phone number? Yes, I'm in. And then you have to agree to terms and services. You're gonna hit, I agree. Confirm your screen lock. For security reasons, you'll need to confirm your screen lock to continue setup. We're gonna hit next, use pin. And then I'm gonna type in my screen lock code. Now it says getting ready to copy. 
choose what to copy on the next screen. A few moments later. So now it says choose what you want to copy. 28 gigabytes are gonna be transferred. Apps, photo, video, music, SMS, MMS, settings, call history, and then everything else is synced automatically. Yes, we want everything. We want this to be exactly like this phone. So we're going to hit copy. Now it said it's gonna take about 20 minutes. A few moments later. Popped up with Google services, scroll down, hit accept. Additional legal terms, I accept. Create a security pin and then hit next. If you wanna do a fingerprint, you can set it up now. However, I'm not going to because I don't wanna move the phones. So I'm gonna hit no thanks and I'll just do that later. And then we're going to hit continue. Set up, hey Google, if you wanna do a voice match, hit I agree. It already recognized my voice from the settings that it copied from this phone. Hit okay. Squeeze your assistant. This phone has a squeeze function, so I'm just gonna hit next. Check out fast with your phone. I'm gonna hit skip. I'm gonna set that up later. Always on display, no thanks. Anything else? Um, there's some other things that you could do. I'm just gonna hit no thanks. I just wanted to copy and be done. Stay up to date on Google's hardware, no thanks. And we'll just let this copy. It says 12 minutes, so we'll be back in about 12 minutes. A few moments later. The estimated time that it said was pretty accurate. Now it says your phone's almost ready. You can disconnect the cable. So we're gonna unplug the cable. All of these things have been transferred. The apps are not installed through the cable. They're like, I think it's like told to the phone what apps you need to download and then they'll download later as you will see. We're gonna hit done. Getting your phone ready, this may take a few minutes. So we'll just let this run and then we'll come back. A few moments later. All right, look at that. It's pretty much an exact copy other than some minor things. All my apps are grayed out as you can see. They're not openable. If I swipe down, it says that it's completing setup. It's kind of glitching out for whatever reason, but it's like doing a bunch of crazy updating, installing apps, downloading apps. So it's just like going crazy in the notifications. We'll let that run for a little bit and it should download all of my apps. I have Google Chrome. I could browse the internet. I could make phone calls, do text messages, but we're just gonna wait for all of these apps to download. A few moments later. This is probably the longest part of the entire process, depending on if you have a ton of apps. I have 108 and it's already installed about 19 and it's been about five minutes. A few moments later. All right, we're on the home stretch. 106, I totally installed the 108 out of 108 apps. The only problem now is it doesn't log you in. So if you click on one of your apps, for instance, Etsy, it brings me to my login screen. So you're gonna either have to type in all of your usernames and passwords manually, and, or if you have a password saver and autofill on your old phone, then you should be able to click your login and sign in that way on all of your apps. If you don't have the password autofill saved, this is how you get to it. This is my old phone. I'm gonna swipe up and go to settings. From there, you're gonna look for security or passwords, depending on what version of Android you're on. This is Android 12. We're gonna hit passwords. And then if you click on this autofill service little gearbox here, you wanna make sure your use autofill with Google is ticked and then automatically sync app data is ticked as well. So if those settings are the same, you should be able to go into your new phone. It should either already be logged in or it should save your username and password. Other settings you might have to change manually. For instance, display, I like dark theme. I like everything in black. Things like your alarms should be saved, but I would double check anything that's super important just to make sure that it transferred over, especially if it's in the settings realm. But that's pretty much it for this video. If you have any questions about transferring all of the data from your Android phone to your Android phone or from your Pixel to your Pixel or from your Samsung to something else, let me know about it in the comments section. Do stay tuned for another video. I'm gonna show you how to delete and prep your old phone in order to sell it on eBay. And then I'm gonna walk you through step-by-step -step selling it on eBay. So check out that video, it should be coming out. It should be coming out in a couple of days, maybe next week. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, please give the video a thumbs up. If you aren't already subscribed to the channel, consider subscribing and I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye.